Hey everyone, I'm back, and today I'm going to be talking about three billboards outside Ebby, Missouri. And, uh, it's a dark comedy. And, uh, the plot to this movie is about a mother who uh, lost her daughter, Angela, uh, who was uh, basically raped and, uh, burned to death, I believe. And, uh, basically, it's not, it's less about uh, that event itself and more about what the mother is doing to deal with that and what she's trying to do to help get attention because the uh, town is kind of small and uh, there's three billboards uh, she puts up to ask the police why haven't they solved it in like seven months and uh, it doesn't really focus too much about it's not really a crime thriller or anything it's more about the characters and it's a dark comedy and I don't think I've seen a dark comedy before at least I don't remember it. I saw it. I think I love it quite a bit. Now, I'm gonna get my positives out of the way really quickly. And the performances here are very strong. Everyone's so funny. And uh, I understood who they are. I bought into their characters. And everyone was believable. And Woody Harrelson, I would say, gives the best performance in the entire movie. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy anyone else, but I thought he was the best. He was the best character. Uh, the cinematography was nice. I, I actually liked it. And uh, how this film was directed, it uh, felt like it had someone who wanted to do something that wasn't just shot over shot, 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 shot. Actually, uh, have a longer takes. I like that. Uh, I don't think I've seen too much of that for lately. And what really drives this movie is uh, the comedy. It worked for the most part. Uh, I'll get into that in just a minute. But for the most part, this movie is really funny. Yeah, uh, all the most of the jokes land. <laughs> the tone never felt conflicting. This movie uh, has an ending that I feel that <laughs> are going to annoy some people, but I liked it. I thought it was different. And I don't think I've seen an ending like that in a while. And I thought it matched uh, the movie just fine. If that makes sense. The main thing that uh, makes this movie work is the characters. I like the characters. I liked our main character. I liked Woody Harrelson. I liked uh, Jason. He. This movie actually has a great character arc in this movie. I'm just going to get my negatives out of the way really quickly. Uh, some of the humor either didn't work or I just didn't understand it. Uh, there was a scene with a priest and uh, he was trying to help uh, the mother basically get through, get over her what happened to her daughter and that's still unsolved and the movie people in the audience were laughing I believe I wasn't because I didn't like it I thought it was very flat and in the end of the movie uh, there's some humor that I just didn't understand but I guess that's my fault I'm not gonna fault the film for that and the pacing is very slow but it doesn't feel like it's bad because uh, I uh, could have stayed uh, for another 20 minutes and it would have been great. I'm not saying this movie's fast paced, I'm saying it's slow paced and it worked. That's what I'm saying. In the end, uh, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri was funny, it was a surprise, I got mostly everything I wanted and more. And I'm gonna give Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri an A. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you like this review, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below what you thought of three billboards down below. And uh, in the description will be a link for my Twitter. And my username for the Stardust app is going to be in the description. Follow me on the Stardust app where I post my reactions. And uh, last but not least, uh, subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation. And I'll see you when I get my next review up. And... Uh, probably going to be a ladybird. So look forward to that. And thank you for watching and have a great day.